hello guys welcome to bms crypto youtube channel here we talk about airdrops we talk about DeFi. we talk about cryptocurrency how to make money and the rest of them right so um here today we're going to be talking about how to run a node right literally how to node in massa node right so look at massa node we already talked about massa i've made a trade of massa right how to run the node because it's very important because the airdrop might be worth something you would like right so let's kick off right so first of all i'm going to run this node without buying vps literally now i'm going to follow this instruction on their website and i'm going to add this link on the video description right so you'll be able to inst install and run your node very well now you need a system that is four four cores and four gig ram now i have to show you my system so you understand that it's very important that those properties are there right now look at um look at my system my pc properties you can see here right i have a uh, 16 gig ram like it's double right now core, they said core i4 i have core i5 i'm good so you make sure that your your, your laptop is 8 gig ram and four i core i4 now i have 16 and i have i5 so i'm good to go right so first thing i have to do is run this window executable once i run this window executable now it will download in my system right i've already downloaded that so no need to run it again so when i download it this is what i'm going to see i'm going to open it with a winra you need a winra this is a winra right you can download a winra your system should have a winra to download files achieved files like that so when you download it you open this up you will see master node and master client master node and master client now master client is where you give the commands master node is where you see the results right so we're gonna start up with the master client now this is it this is the app right you just click here and then you will see this it will show you this the command will show you this right so what you need to do is you are a new user you need to enter your password enter a password so you need to if your password is two three four five six seven just enter it once you enter it you press the enter key there's an enter key in your laptop enter key tap it it might not be showing just make sure you press the, the okay let's say your password is one two three four five you press enter it will ask you to confirm password you press that one two three four five again and you enter it again then it will load the master face for you now because i've already created my own password it's going to just show me straight up my password once i enter my password everything is open just watch now you can see it right now right look at it this is my master uh home page for your node for your client this is where you give the command and you can see here you will see help you see the types of command you can give to your uh, node and it will respond now let's go back to the master uh, achieved file now we'll go back to master node we have done for master client now we'll go back to master node we'll open this executable file dot exe yeah we'll run it and it will show us the command again now i have to pull a password again the same thing that happened in the client should happen in a node so if you're a new person one two three four five you enter you just say confirm password you enter again one two three four five you enter it right that way you're gonna have a, a okay let me enter my own password now you see i've entered my password now look at now it's trying to load now it's trying to execute so that my node can kick start remember i open the client first before the node let's load, look and see if it's going to load and start properly right watch out if it starts it means that you see it you see it it will load and a lot of files will start showing up here let's see how it goes let's pray it works because sometimes you still have issues <laughs> Okay, it's trying to bootstrap, it's trying to boot the node so it can start. Okay. 
We're waiting for it to start properly. That's what we're waiting for right now. Now, this is where your computer hardwares and softwares matters because if your computer doesn't have those required software, it won't load, it won't start. So let's look at it again. Okay, there's an error in the starting. I've already experienced an error, right? So, um, I think I have to restart it again. I have to close it and restart again, right? I have to close and restart again. So, I have to go here. Put up my password. It's already having an error already. Let's give it some time and see if it's going to load. So let's see. So after downloading it, it said uh, we should. This one is for people who are using Mac, and the rest of them. Now for Windows, set up your Rust. If you are using uh, Rust, like if you are doing coding, right? You need to install the Visual Studio where you could build and code. But we are not doing that, right? So we just have to go to the next one. Mac. So we avoid that one. If you're using a source code, we have to uh, leave this one aside. Then on Windows, you uh, on Windows PowerShell or command prompt on the first window, type cd masa masa node cargo run release, then enter password, right? Replace password with the password that you need to keep to start your node. You should leave the window open. So after we've run the password and on the master client, we have to go to the next one. Download the night lightly version here. Then if if the node is running, this is still having error. I have to close it back and go back here to see if it will run back again so let's see if it's gonna work again So here is where you give the command. So if we we can get status, you can copy this command. Just click get status. The status will tell you if your node is actually running or not, right? Then if it's not running, you will see error. Check if your node is running. And where you will see our node is running is on this 
uh, this other one was called the master node. The other one is master client. So it's master node, right? So we have to check if it's running. We have to retry again, man. It's not easy here. So if you experience something like this, you should understand because it have really it have it have been happening to me like multiple times before it kickstarts off. I don't know how like how long it's gonna take for this to kick start off. But as is you're waiting for this right now, what you have to do for me is go to their Discord. Go to Master Discord, like right. I'm going to add the link to the Master Discord here on this uh video, the link to it. Now look at this place. When you enter the master discord you enter to the test net reward center you click on this you can use the faucet right to get a token and then you can report any bug you can come to the test net and see what people are talking about right so people have not been able to produce block and you can see it here And the thing is ending a few days from now. Today is 27 years. Ending two days, like that's tomorrow, on uh, next tomorrow, right? So, um, I'm going to like go back and check if it's, if it's taking, if I started, it has not started actually. Now, if you've entered this master uh, Discord, on this first site, just you need to place your wallet address. I'm going to show you how to get your wallet address, right? Wallet address is when you come to the master client, you copy the wallet information if you copy the wallet information you paste it it will show you your wallet private keys which you use to be able to retrieve your wallet later maybe in the main net it will show you your wallet public keys it will not show you your wallet address now your wallet address is the one you will now copy and place there the wallet address always starts with a now now you come here you just place it here the, once you place it here they will send you the token you can see these people having their tokens already once you place it here it will show you this arrow it means they have sent you the token right so we'll go back to this uh test net they said once you react to this place they are they are bought with message you on guidelines on how to register your uh your node to their discord all you have to do right now is uh go to your dm make sure you've if you own people to send you dm go to your privacy make sure you have allowed dms from server members right once you allow it then you can go to your dm and check now you can see here master bot it's already dm me right once it dms you you will see i think it's my network that made this in order to load since it's, it's now on i notice my network is not here Okay, perfect. Let's connect to it then. Then we'll start up again. Okay, it's connected. So I think uh, this node, that's why this node didn't connect since. I have to restart it. And put my password, remember always. If you put the wrong password, oh, it's having an error already. So, as I was saying on the this place, the, the master bot will DM you. Now, to register your run command, you put this I'll show you on the what's it called the node here this place see what you will do when you come here you first of all get your wallet if you save it save your right copy your seed phrase and put it somewhere else because I'm not gonna run it here. it's gonna show my seed phrase right my private keys so if you run it you copy it and put somewhere else now you generate your secret keys wallet and raise secret keys if you have not generated you generate it and keep now what you do next is 
you get status once you get status, status will show you that your node is running and your node is active like it's super super active right i think this is having serious issues honestly i'm gonna have to try again you're supposed to start like you're supposed to ask for prompt uh, admin prompt command and then i will confirm it then it will start but as you can see we don't know what is going on so when you as i was saying right when you were able to get your status you click on wallet information you get your wallet information right now it will show you here your wallet information then all you have to do is get staking address because you have not added the staking address it will be empty right look at it now i've copied it i will paste it here and then i will click enter now because my node is not even running that's why it's not showing now if i want to add i will now click on node add add node add staking secret i will now click on this copy it paste then i'll put space and then i will now add my private keys node add staking private secret key it means that i'm adding the secret key of my wallet once i add it here and en click enter it will add the staking key of my wallet i wish this thing is up so that will just be doing all this pra practically sometimes this messes up all right okay Okay. 